What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be unboxing, reviewing and installing a product that I find very interesting, the Streamlabs Smart Home Monitoring Device. Water metering devices such as this one are becoming more and more popular on the market so I thought it would be a great idea to go over all of its nice features and what it's designed to do. Let's start by unboxing the package. So let me start by the actual box it comes in since it's worth talking about. The box is both very elegant and functional. On one of the sides are some simple and brief instructions that could be seen such as this. It also mentions that no pipe cutting is required which is one of this device's really neat features as opposed to some products on the market today. On another side is just the brand name. This side talks a bit about its features such as its leak detection system, usage trackability and alerts customization. At the back of the box, they mention all the types of pipes it could be used on, the actual dimensions of the monitor, which is good to know before purchasing, and what's in the box. Let's open up the box and see what's inside. So the first thing you'll notice is the actual device first up top, which is very nicely packaged. Right under is a bright yellow caution note stating to not rotate, move, or slide the monitor while it's installed as to not damage the contact pads on the underside. An installation guide with all the instructions needed to properly install the monitor, some miscellaneous accessories neatly packed in a plastic baggie, and finally the power source for the monitor. Let's examine the monitor up close as some things are needed to be done before installing it. On the underside, where the pipe will meet the monitor is a plastic film that needs to be removed before installing it. Once it's removed, take a quick look at the instruction manual to know if you have all the requirements for this gadget to work in your home, such as access to a power outlet nearby, at least 6 inches of clean straight pipe, and access to your house's main water inlet. Let's go through the installation portion of the monitor. First of all, make sure you have access to your main water valve as it must be installed right after it as shown in the instruction manual. Also, make sure you have at least 6 inches of clean straight pipe like this. Use the included zip ties to secure the monitor in place on top and at the bottom. For aesthetics purposes, you could cut off the excess of each zip tie to make things look clean. Then, go ahead and connect your power outlet to the monitor and then to the wall. You'll see all the lights turn on showing that it's powered up. Now would be a good time to install the Streamlabs app from Google Play Store. With the app installed, it'll ask you if you're a new user or to sign in if you already are. The setup is quite user friendly and it only takes a few minutes to get done. Once completed, you'll need to sync your monitor to your smartphone or tablet, whether it's an iPhone or Android, via Wi-Fi connection. The setup will then ask you what type of pipe you'll be monitoring. I choose copper type L since that's what I have and pipe size I chose 3 quarter of an inch, seeing my pipe is only half an inch. You'll then be asked to flush a toilet or faucet at a high flow to test the monitor in real time and as you can see, it works like a charm. I then went ahead and did some other tests such as real-time usage speed and Streamlabs alert system. Here's how quick the monitor detects a normal water usage in real time. And the same when water usage stops. Here's an increase in water usage in real time which shows the gallons per minute count rising. As you can see, the monitor detects any minor changes quite quickly and quite accurately as well, which is really neat. The monitor also detects any minor or major leaks depending on how you set up the app. I set mine to detect a leak after 2 minutes and a half of constant flow and voila! The app goes into alert mode and notifies you of the situation wherever you are. Once the leak has been taken care of, the monitor tells your phone that everything is okay and goes back into normal operation. Let me show you how to set up your own leak alerts. First off, go into your apps menu by clicking here. Then, use the gear icon to go into the settings menu and go into the alerts tab. In here, you'll find both your minor leaks and major leaks settings. Set them both at your desired flow rate and time at which you'll be alerted and that's all there is to it. At the bottom of the app menu is your trackability which could be done daily, monthly or even yearly. It'll show you how much water you used at any specific time you want as well as a comparative between each other to see any progression. And lastly, all your alerts are saved so you could go back and verify exactly what occurred for each particular event. And that's it! 
If you're leaning towards a more conservative mindset about your water usage, I highly recommend this product as it could be difficult to manually track how much water is being used in a house, especially if there's more than one user. And plus, it has a great leak detection feature. If you have any questions, make sure to go and visit Streamlabs website as well as their customer service page. Also, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try to answer it as best as I can. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until the next one, thanks for watching.